Hi there boys, girls, ghouls, and squirrels on boy 17 here. We're doing our bottling video. Uh, it's going to be awesome, really short, simple, to the point. Uh, we also got in our 10th Stitch Elite shirts and uh, also the 10th Stitch Production shirt, which you can pick up on Redbubble. We'll have that linked in the description below. So uh, stick around, figure out how to bottle your beer, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, so the first thing on the list is just to go over your basic what you have. So we have our finished beer right here. It is non-carbonated. It's been fermenting for 14 days straight. We have our bottles, which is really important. I'm using this bin to sanitize them in with the other half of the uh, no-rinse cleaner that we had. We've got our caps that all also need to be sanitized. And then we've got our carbonation drops, which are pretty much just, uh, just uh, sugar cubes in a bag. And then, so the first step you're going to want to do is to wash your hands. I've already done that. So on to filling up our basin and pouring our sanitizer in. So our first step here is to just fill our basin up with hot water. Alright, and so... And the next step is to take our Rinse Max uh, No Rinse Cleanser and put it in our tub. Nice and simple like. And then we're going to stir it in real well. And generally, I mean, like, other people like to, uh, like, oh, do all your bottles, do all your caps. But what I'm going to do is just take my caps and put them in. Let them soak while we do the bottles so we can kind of get them to move around, agitate it a little. Oops. Stop it. Get some help. And then, bottle after bottle, you're just gonna get it inside, fill it up to about halfway, and then shake them. You wanna shake them really good so that it gets all throughout and coats the bottle. And remember, we don't have to rinse this out, so we just set them aside in a row. Okay, so your next step is going to be to uh, just take your bottle, take a little spigot tap like this, and gently fill up your beer. And I have already tasted this stuff. It tastes exactly like flat beer, so I know I did it right. And we're going to want to put it to about right there and we're going to set it aside to put our carbonation drops in and then just uh, eight more to go after this also as you can probably see there's a red bowl over there that's got the the caps in it I set those aside Alright, so I'm going to skip ahead and then we'll put those carbonation drops and continue on. Alright, so now we're just going to add our uh, carbonation drops. Mm. I tried my best to get those all the same uh, Heights, but I think a couple of a little bit more beer in them than they should. That was all of them, right? And also, I just wanted to thank Chelsea for filming all this for me. She's been such a good sport, even though I'm very hypercritical. And now that you've got it bottled, I'm just going to swish it around a little. 
And then we're going to put it in a cool dark place. So I'm going to finish up the rest of these and we'll say goodbye. Hey everybody, so these are our final product. We've got them all uh, fermented. Put the carbonation drops in, bottled them up, and showed you how to do it. So uh, here in about two weeks, I'm going to be showing you how to take five pounds of honey and make some uh, awesome honey wine, or a.k.a. mead, like what the Vikings in medieval times people used to drink. And this is the stuff I'm really familiar with, so if that's something you're interested in, stick around, watch the channel. I'm going to have some weapon making tutorials coming out, and I'm also going to be continuing with some Let's Plays. I think I'm finally going to get Plant Side 2 up and then continue my forest series. So thank you so much. Don't forget, boys, girls, ghouls, and squirrels, like the page, subscribe, check out our Facebook, Twitter, and look at our Redbubble site if you want a shirt. Peace out.